In this video, I will show how to create sections and intersections in Ameson. Um, section, so in Ameson, they call roads sections is the same as a link in Visim. I have already created or selected a location. It is uh, in Sheffield in the UK. It's like a random place. Uh, if you go to edit preferences localization you can select it to left so it will know that uh, the rule of road is on the left because they drive on the left i also saved a screenshot from google maps as an image and then i imported using import image file if i double click on it i just quickly position i make sure that i select points as far from each other as possible that will make it more accurate and as i click um, with the left click these through you will see that it will show set here and once all the fours are set i can click scale so i select this building point and that one that one that one and now on the image the same ones in the same order scale and translate and is there okay i go to the image i switch off allow widget editing this way you are not going to accidentally move it around and i just untick this open street map that got installed when i created the new file i have a video in the previous one that shows how to do it so i'm going to create this intersection and add these sections here click here on the create section then with your left button for approaches you try to add uh, you want to add as long as as long links as possible because you want to record queue in automatically it creates a two lane section as you can see but if you hold on control and push one then it goes like that you can also do three lane four lane but we need a one lane as you can see it will be two lane there but don't worry about that and double click at the stop line when it is over so here if you come here there are points so this one moves the stop line angle changes it then these ones the second points if you drag them out you hold on the um, left button you can create short lanes and then you can just drag this back with that holder up i would move it back up as far as where vehicles can actually be next to each other so like there somewhere if you want to add more vertices you can add if you select it first then click on this one create vertice and you drag a line across where you want the point to be added you can also create a vertice for curve like that it's very cool okay i create uh, another link i just hold on control pushed one so it's a single lane one double click on the end i do one here um, i show you how to do this way so i place a two lane one what you can do is you can use this one by slicing it into two you select it first then you click it and then you drag a line where you want to cut it like that if i select this control one it creates a single lane one and it automatically connects them to each other you can just move slightly that one like that Uh, the other direction we will tweak it a little bit later okay and another way to create such is I create another two lane link here double click there and now in the end you have the same second point you just drag that in then it converts that lane into a short lane 
And now if you push control, it is control three in the count of lanes, in the number of lanes, in the number of lanes, the short lane is also counted in. Yeah. So I just drag it back here. Just move this slightly to make it better. That. And last but not least, I just create a link here. Okay, and one for the exit. And then there are okay one more tweak with the links so if you select it you slice it there are two links if you want to you can delete this node this is called node if you select both with the shift you need to hold shift down to select multiple objects unlike in everything else or if you have a mac probably it's more suitable um, and now if you right click you can join them back together and there will be no node or anything it will be just one single link okay now what you can do is you can use this create connection between objects you select it and then you just drag a line from one to another like that ah, i created two nodes so it is a good so you create that and then you just keep as you can see that was an error so you shouldn't be doing that and then you can just add and again i selected the wrong one so undo that that And now we basically have a node with the turns. We don't have all the turns, so I, I did not select all of that. But you can also use, to make it simpler, a node. So in this way, if you do, as you can see, these are the turns I selected. But for example, this left turn is missing, this right turn is missing. So what you can do is you can select the node, delete it, and you can use this one, create a node. What you can also do like that. If you just use the node like this, you can add the same way the elements or sorry, the turns like that. You click there and then you click. You need to delete it. Yeah, new, there to there, and so on. It is basically the same idea as I did the first time with the, this tool, but probably the easiest if you just select all these and just do that. Here you have all the um, turn set up and what you can do is if you double click on a turn it shows from which lane to which lane if you select that you see it's from two what you can do once you selected it and it is highlighted in red you can just click what you want but you Contrarily select a new one because the turn is already set up between the two sections. Yeah So you can these uh, just tweak it The way it fits your network best And Let me just do and Some example here. So let's say we have something like this here 
I select with the shift. So if it is a tooling, you hold shift down and then you can select both like that with shift. Okay, let me show you if you hover your mouse and it seems it. If you hover your mouse over a turn, you can see it brings up these red lines. If you select the node, let me just hide the, be uh, the background map. If you select the node, you can go to the advanced editor and here you can select all, the, all of the turns. So a turn is basically that is a turn this is a turn this is a turn that is a turn so select the node right click advanced editor and then here you can just with your uh, up and down rows you can just go through and now we are here from this to that it is a two lane one and it looks fine but what you can do you can change it so if you click add you can add from there to there or from here to here or you can select that and you can delete it it makes sense if you have let's say a third lane so let me just move that there. But let's say it is an unrealistic situation. <laughs> it is not real, but let's just show let me just show you what that actually does. So we add one delete delete. So you can add from here to here, you can add from here to here, but here you need to merge that. Yes, so as you can see, it doesn't allow me. The reason for that is because this turn only selected for those two. So you need to make sure you add the free. I hold on shift and then edit it. And now if you go back, advanced editor, I just cycle through these ones. So what I can do, I can just get those two merged into one. If, if you have like somewhere like a merge, you, this is the way you can deal with it. Of course, this is uh, a stupid example. I will do a better one. Um, so what we do now is I just remove this back, back, and it's going to be like that. Perfect. So this is the way these works. Also, if you double click on it, you go to lanes. You have some sessions, you can have some uh, lane types. Uh, if you have a bus lane or something, you can change the stop lines. You can change the lane width. So in this case, it's maybe on 2.6. 2.6. To make them more fitting. You can also have like all kinds of settings here. Speed limits, posted speed limit. What you can also do, you can select multiple ones and then set the speed. But we will deal with this uh, in another video. So I think that should help to just start somewhere, how you can set up the sections, uh, intersections, how to deal with the um, within the turns those arrangements and of course we will look into the intersections hall in another video um, how to set up uh, priorities things like that to go into more details thanks for watching